Hey, what's up, guys? I'm just back from. I did something different today. I went to get a friend of mine was get a sale with my wife. We pick up a couple of things for the house, and then we decided to stop the, the Volo Museum Antique Mall. Uh, if you're not familiar, and Volo Museum, it's a, I, I should probably do a video one of these days. I was shocked last time was whatever. So much cool cars. One of the famous in America. It's a bunch of vintage cars, really cool stuff, music. Um, sorry, some music related stuff, but mostly some movie related stuff. Um, really cool place. And with a different section, they got caravans, they got trains, they got everything. Anyway, that being said, they have also an antique mall, huge antique mall. Uh, for what it for it, the build for the area where we live is pretty big for us. And they got a little bit of everything, of course, as any vintage mall, and the prices are according to that. Um, now we pick up a couple of things. I'm always skeptical. I was able to pick up one or two things um, for a decent price. I'm thinking there's room for. Uh, for say that, let's put it this way. Uh, first of all, let's go for the vintage stuff. I got a 983 uh, Mattel, um, licensed by Mattel, Skeletor, well, the Skeletor and e man and also Tila, uh, Master Universe Cup, really cool, in really good shape. Um, don't know if they come with a set or something, but I think it's like 12 bucks. I think that's not a bad price. It's really good condition. Like it's gonna go, of course, display my collection. Second thing that I got is a Chevrolet El Camino. Uh, what the company makes it? Road Champs 1998. Um, actually, yeah, 59 Camino, really cool uh, car. Uh, good details, and it's a Pepsi truck, Pepsi delivery truck. On the back, it's supposed to simulate the truck, the crate with all the, the um, Pepsi. You can open a trunk also because I just checked. Um, the only thing, the paint start cracking on top of it. I don't know if you can see it. The case is in good shape, a little few scratches. You remove the glue from the stem, and as of course, there's a cool fridge. Pepsi fridge in the back. So a really cool display piece. I think you can open the, the doors and the trunk in the back. Really cool, cool model, 59 model, really, really cool car. As you can see on the other side. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. I think I paid like uh, with the discount 18 bucks. It's not bad. And normally I think these cars are pretty expensive. Plus it's not the newest one. So on two DVDs, a buck a piece, you can go wrong with them. They were sealed. Dark Shadow, Dark Shadows, which is a cool old TV series. Uh, the Vampire Curse. Um, no, not too much about this series. I watched a couple episodes on uh, 2B, I think, but I'm pretty sure it's famous and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be interesting. Uh, again, it's uh, 210 minutes for a buck. You can go wrong with that. Yep, really cool. And the other one is the double, two movies in it. One is The Boot Hill and the other one God's Gun with Lee Van Cleef and the other one with Terence Hill and Bud Spencer. That's the first movie with Terence Hill and Bud Spencer. I don't know if you're familiar with two classic Italian actors that were in a bunch of spaghetti movie initially and then among them Trinity. And then uh, they start doing, um, I don't know what you want to call it, comic comedy with a bunch of fist, fi fist fights, very funny slaps and, and a classic. Um, if you're Italian, you know them. And also they're very famous in Germany. Anyway, a buck can go wrong, I think is, one CD, I, I guess one side is one moving, the other side is the other one. Like I said, for a buck you can't go wrong. Anyway, if you happen to be in Illinois, uh, it's in Volo. Um, I say like um, an hour from Chicago, it well worth it. Um, that's it. As always, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, share. Uh, God bless you. God bless America, and I'll see you next time. Bye.